Welcome back to Little Lady Plays and today's game we have this game is called Diversity Hotel. I'm going to show you how to play it, you know, how our kids, our family felt and what it means to you. So let's go check it out. I do have it set up and the setup is really simple. Basically these little um, windows, they come separate so I just slipped in the hotel guests inside the window and of course we turned it over and we're kind of good to go. So when you play this game, there are two, I would guess, players. The first one is the policeman. So you have to decide a child or whoever is the policeman. They get the badge. And the second one is the hotel um, receptionist. And she gets, you know, her badge. So she has hers, and that's how you know. Now, the hotel receptionist gets a bunch of keys. And it's really cute. The keys are really nice, and there's different types of keys. It doesn't really impact the game, but it's just a fun feature and makes it more interesting. And on the other side, not only do you have the keys, which I do like how they have the barcode and everything, because, you know, makes it look more like keys, but each key corresponds to a guest. So the police, and you can actually, what I like, you can actually make it into a story. So, like, the police is coming, and he needs to find guests, and the police will select a window. Now, the police gets to see the picture, but the police does not show the picture to the hotel receptionist. And, ba and using only two descriptions... Do you the child has to figure out who she's looking for? For example, a lady with a red, you know, dress or kimono or whatever the case is. So now I have to look for a lady with a red kimono or red dress, and the the goal is is to make matches. Um, oh, here we go. The lady with the red kimono. Now here's something that the kids found really tricky, and I loved it because this is where it gets complicated. If a child would say a lady with a red dress and glasses, well then I would tell the child, I'm sorry, we have to put that back and try again because you have three words. So here's what the kids work on. The first thing is the kids actually have to listen and only use two descriptive words. Now they can add more in, for example, she is wearing a red dress. You can add the word wearing, but she has to be very careful in her words. Another thing I like about it is that it's fun and you could, it's really interactive. So I played it with the kids and here's how we, we felt. First of all, the idea of diversity, as you can see here, it, it does show a lot of different people, males, females, all from different backgrounds. So that was really nice, but I don't feel it really you know, shows much about culture and diversity in that sense. So that was just a little, you know, not a game changer. Also, it's more for two players, so it's not such a family game as far as to add the family game night. So, you know, we're going to keep this on the shelf. It's an okay game, but here's where I think, oops, the one that doesn't want to be seen. Here's where I think this game is amazing. I think if you are a therapist or work as a teacher and need a little bit of one-to-one -one time, this game is perfect because this game really, really works on language. It works on focusing. The kids really have to pay attention to the details and they have to listen. They have to listen to two details that will either make or break whether they make the match or not. So in my opinion, this is a cute game and I definitely like it. It has a lot of potential, but for me personally and my family, this is more of a therapy one-on-one -on -one game or if you have a child who just needs a little bit of mommy and me time this could be a cute game but it's not our go-to family game night game but we it still has a lot of fun and a lot of potential if you have any questions about diversity hotel well then feel free to contact me in the comment box below i want to hear from you guys because we're here about education thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe because we have tons and tons of more honest reviews for the holiday thank you guys for watching happy playing